really weird. I've got a bit of a focusing issue with my Mini 3 at the moment. So when I try and tap to focus on different areas, it just keeps going back to the same focusing place. And I thought maybe it was because of the filter. So I took the filter off, did it, still doing the weird thing, not focusing in the right place. So I wasn't going to fly and I thought, oh, we'll just go home and figure it out later. But then I just kind of did the whole switch it on, switch it back off, turn it off, switch it back on again and seems to have worked. So I guess I get to fly. Shortly after I did my Action 3 review, I noticed that I had this focusing issue with the Action 3 where even at greater than the 30, 30 centimeter minimum focusing distance, I was still blurry and it's really off-putting when you look at the footage. So I got in touch with DJI, they said, okay, send it back, we'll repair it, we'll replace it. And so they just sent me a brand new one. So I just wanted to come out and I just wanted to test it really, see what the footage looked like, see if it was fixed. At the moment I'm shooting in wide and normal color profile. Uh, I've got it on this selfie stick and um, yeah, I'm just curious to see if um, the footage looks any different. I have also applied the firmware update, which is the one that came out like a couple weeks ago. And with my old Action 3, I did notice that the footage looks a little bit better, just in general, not anything to do with the focusing issue. And so, yeah, I just really wanted to see what the footage today looks like. So that is the, that was the intention. It's actually really difficult to tell whether it's made a difference having this new camera, whether this camera has a problem or not, because I'm looking at it on the screen of the Action 3, um, on the back screen, and then I did also download a clip to my phone so that I could see it um, on a bigger screen, but it's just really difficult to know. So when I get back home, put it on my laptop and then we'll see. I've switched over to standard so that you can see the difference and I've also got my 360 camera so that you can see how far away I'm holding the camera. So this is definitely more than 30 centimetres. I hate nitpicking but it's just when I'm talking to the camera I don't want to be out of focus because it's just really distracting. I find it so distracting. So one of the main reasons why I would actually use my Action 3 anyway is to do POV so I love doing POV shots and putting those in amongst other filming um, other bits of footage and so I wouldn't necessarily use the Action 3 as my main vlogging camera I only use it to talk to the camera if this is all I take so if I'm going out on a paddleboard or doing some kind of sport where I don't actually want to take my Pocket 3 my Pocket 2 hopefully Pocket 3 soon my Pocket 2 or obviously my A7S 3 then having an action camera and knowing that you're going to get good footage and you can talk to the camera is really important in that scenario but as an everyday vlogging camera this would not be it it is for pov and i think the pov shots look okay um, in terms of focusing and that kind of thing but just those times where i do actually want to talk to the camera i don't want to be out of focus so yeah i'm really hoping that when i get back to my pc that i'm not disappointed and that it looks okay because i really really like this camera and it's one that i really hope to use a lot but We'll see. We'll see what happens.